It's, a, it's the ideal position of things that are giving birth spiritually about certain things too. So you got the woman in travail and you have the new moon about uh, the preparation of birth, spiritual birth happening. It's an interesting day. <clears throat> <clears throat> but the topic of the message. Now, I want to uh, continue on this thing. I want to talk about the electrons. Now, I'm finna um see. I'm finna lead this idea of teaching of the electrons of the atom to pretty much the idea of understanding the sequence of the purpose of the fruits of the spirit. That I'm going to uh, show you how the fruits of the spirit is supposed to play a role. To uh to this negative energy, this negative that's going around the atom, this electron. Now uh, I'm gonna talk about a, a great scientist. To me, to me should be celebrated once one of the greatest scientists, and for a long time is called, his name is called Nikola Tesla. Tesla, Nikola Tesla. Um, I did videos on Nikola Tesla about he found out the code of 369 code that is very important concerning the keys of the kingdom of heaven that I'm pretty much trying to make sense of what his discovery that he was looking at, that he was trying to figure out. Now, Nikola Tesla... Uh, discover an ideal way of utilizing energy, you know, that you, that energy is supposed to be utilized in a greater a greater way if we're going to utilize it properly, more likely. More likely, he discovered how, uh, how, how, how energy is not supposed to be something that First of all, you're not supposed to pay for, but energy is supposed to be a force of life, a life that is supposed to just give out energy. Energy is supposed to be given out, kind of like the sun. The sun is an energy that is giving out all kind of energy. It's not taking any energy back. It's a, a fusion that is creating its own energy to give out energy to us. It's not saying, okay, I'll give you energy. And in earth, you got to give me some energy. No, it's a force that's giving out energy. And what he discovered that, you know, pretty much has been discovered in the ideal of the pyramids, the, the pyramid of Giza, that people found out that it, it was, that the pyramid of Giza was really a energy conductor. It was some kind of energy conductor that conducted an energy that uh, pretty much established had the earth in proper uh, harmony concerning energy. Pretty much an ideal of divine energy, but that's another message. Because I did a message on uh, uh, look for the gold, you know what I'm saying? Look for the gold and you will understand uh, God's divine plan that you know, that the goal, just follow the goal, as it's called, follow the goal. And I show you that it's all about the goal that that the, um, that I showed that the Sathians built the pyramids and God instructed them to build the pyramids and put gold on the pyramids, cover the pyramids with gold. That with, within the goal became a conductor of energy that bring forth harmony in the earth that uh, that produced a lot of energy across the earth that that the ley lines that you know those know about that will produce that energy and energy would be the life is a life like energy will be living we're supposed to live in energy not uh, not the idea that we need to like cut on energy like you move in the house you cut on energy and you cut the energy on no energy is supposed to be the life source of how the earth is supposed to be made and energy has its own language you know what i'm saying energy has a whole lot of stuff
that, you know, that Nikola Tesla was on that discovery pattern that, you know, finding out that energy is more than just something that you were supposed to use to see light. And he was on that, and of course they had to slow him down, you know, from, you know, giving that discovery of how energy is, we're supposed to operate in free energy, that the rulers of darkness of this world don't want you to find out, <clears throat> that, you know, we support, that energy has a source. Now, why? but why I'm talking about that? Well, I found out something that God presented to me about that. Well, Nikola Tesla, you know, he was holding a light bulb, and the light bulb was uh, um, on. And I mean, well, he held the light bulb. The light bulb was uh, lit up, you know, and didn't need any, uh, you know, socket or nothing, or no lamp. He didn't need no lamp. It lit up. He just held it up, and it was lit up. Now, God was showing me about what the Egyptians did, you know, concerning, you know, pretty much de desecrating the place that the Scythians built, pretty much the <coughs> Egyptians, the Egyptians uh, desecrated. Now, they found out how to pervert energy, pervert energy. Now, notice, like, if you saw those hieroglyphs, you see a, a light bulb and a snake inside the light bulb. Now, you should, if it's a snake in there, you should already know that something's wrong here. But uh, what God showed me and revealed to me in Revelation, you may not think it's true or not, but the Egyptians perverted the harmony of electricity. They perverted the harmony of the energy concerning the idea of the spinning of the electrons. Like, for, for instance... Energy is not supposed to like shock us. Energy is not, yeah, energy is not supposed to shock us like we get shocked by energy. Energy is not supposed to be operating in that force of frequency or force, I think, I'm, a force of frequency and, and concerning the harmony, concerning the harmonutics that, you know, people in college know about that harmony, harmonutics. That is the idea of how, you know, really that everything is ran by harmony. And the, uh, the electron is in a harmony force, you know what I'm saying, spinning around the proton and the neutron. That is, is supposed to spin at a particular rate that is not supposed to be something that will shock us. But it's supposed to be something that will bring harmony towards, you know us and a harmony a harmonized energy that will restore uh humanity that i believe that happened in a time before the flood that that's why they lived so long in a flood that's why methuselah can live 969 years old and adam lived to 930 something years old and um they live 800 years old they live long lives because of the harmony, harmony of the flow of the energy that was there at that time. People lived a long time. That will play a role to uh, the living. That, but watch this. Those pyramids are not utilized right now. You know, they're you know pretty much uh, not working because I tell people because of the earth access. The earth is off its uh, access, and because the world is off its access, that energy that they had at, before the flood is not being utilized right now. And we're living in a energy unharmony un un way, and that's leading to chaos, confusion, chaos, conflict, and chaos that is happening in the planet. But what I'm trying to want you to know that this is why of course the ideal of the plan of now you said what this got to do with Jesus Christ no. well here's what Jesus Christ did Jesus Christ came to restore what's what he has established in the beginning because I did a teaching message message one time that uh the the star the star of Bethlehem the night star that shines so bright 
was the ideal image of the energy that shined out of the flood. And I proved that with the, uh, who's the, what's this? Oh, Sumerians. The Sumerians has a picture of what star, or more likely what star, was was dominant over the night sky. It was a like a twilight, like a twilight, you know, like zoop, zoop, zoop. Kind of like the a compass. You know, you see a compass and how the lights are sticking out. That's how kind of like the light was. You know what I'm saying? That shook was the main power source of life on earth at that time. Now, we're living in the negative part, you know, that the sun now has became the dominant energy of the of the space. And now, but the sun has an energy that does not have the harmony of true, of the energy that's supposed to be operating in the earth that will keep the earth last long, you know what I'm saying? It abstracts energy. It, it's an abstractor. It brings energy like, you know, it's like it's, it removes or, you know, like a cooking, you know. A cooking heat comes and burn and removes flesh. But the energy that they had was an energy that brings harmony to the body of people that, you know, was about healing and everything else. But if you, you know... Check out uh, me. I'm a kind of person that go on National Geographic. That they talk about the idea concerning the pyramids. That a lot of you know uh, researchers went to the pyramids, and and you know found out. I mean, did research and found that idea out that they believe the pyramids were created for a harmonic, a harmony energy was on the earth that really powered the earth all the way around that gave people the energy to exist more than as long as that they can. Now, why I'm telling you this? Well, this has everything to do with the electron. And the electron concerning as force, because now we live by electricity. And electricity is, does, is, is, is about more about the electron than it's about the proton and the neutron that God showed me. That the proton and neutron is supposed to facilitate the energy of how things are but but guess what there's a balance between the proton and the neutron that is the nucleus and the electron and what satan is trying to do he's trying to last as what i found out about i read a scripture and um songs was talking about it mentioned the ideal of the balance like like every in scientists and physicists can testify Everything in this earth operates in balance. I mean, you should know everything operates in balance. But when the balance of energy concerning goes the other direction, then there's destruction. It will happen. Like if it lean, it can lean towards the electron state of the, of the uh, negative state, it will proceed destruction. But it leans to the proton and neutron state. It leads to restoration. It's a restoring process supposed to happen concerning the balance of energy that goes on in the earth that will have something to do with the power of the Holy Ghost. See, the power of the Holy Ghost is supposed to bring the restoration of energy back to where it once was in the beginning. Is what the whole idea is the quest that God is trying to give <clears throat> the energy down to bring that harmony back to where it once was in the beginning is what the church needs to understand concerning they, what they need to follow the directions of the scriptures to facilitate that energy to bring off restoration um is what is the missing key ingredient that everybody's looking for. Because everybody like, whoa, this world is being destroyed. Why is the world being destroyed? What I'm trying to explain to you is all about how to do with the ideal Adam and Adam, the Adam, you know what I'm saying? Not Adam. Well, Adam and Eve, April and Fruit Street, bam, sin is crazy. But not just the Adam, but now the Adam, you know, is plays a role in it of the balance of energy concerning negative positive. All right, that's the message I... 
talked enough. All right, that's the message. God be glory him forever, ever in Jesus' name.